Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'll show you the best setup if you have a Ring Spotlight Cam Pro or the Plus. But before that, I'll tell you the differences between the battery, solar, wired, and plug-in versions that Ring sells. And I'll show you how to wire this in using your existing junction box using their hardwire kit for a clean looking install. And we'll add something to it to make it the best setup they can do to these Spotlight Cams. Ring released the second generation of their Spotlight Cams in two models, the Pro and the Plus. And I did review both of these individually and will link them down below if you want to know the differences between the two and to find out which one is a better choice. Now what Ring did is that they made a base camera for the two different models, the Pro and the Plus, and sold them in different versions depending on their power supply. First, they have the battery version and it comes with a battery pack. They also have the solar version which aside from a battery, they bundled it with their solar panel which you plugged in on the back which is USB-C. They have a plug-in version which will remove the battery and solar and add this power cable setup which is also inserted on the USB-C port on the back and the other end plugged into your power outlet. And lately, they added the wired-in version, which if you have an existing light fixture or a junction box, you just have to use this hardware kit and you don't have to worry about charging the battery or installing the solar panels or where to route the power cable. Now, the plugged-in or wired-in connected spotlight cams perform differently than battery power. If you want the best setup for your spotlight cams and actually Wi-Fi security cameras in general, you have to go wired. And the two big differences are the motion detection performance and how soon the camera records. Ring has programmed the Spotlight Cam Pro and the Plus, and this is also the same with their third gen stick up cams. That when these cameras only have battery power, is to use the PIR motion sensor to detect motion. And this sensor detects heat movement. But its weakness is limited detection range of only around 25 to 30 feet and also has a tendency to detect late when motion is going towards it. This PIR sensor is also responsible for waking up the camera to start recording. So the camera will only start to record when the sensor detects movement within its detection range. When you power the camera with continuous power, plug in or wired, then the camera will change its detection mode to use camera-based detection or what the camera actually sees. So basically the camera is always on. It is not recording, it is just monitoring. And depending on the sensitivity you set, it can detect motion farther than 30 feet. In my testing, with ring 40 to 50 feet. Plus, because it is always on, it has a buffer on the recording, meaning when motion is detected, it will add 4 to 6 seconds on the recording prior to the event. This is what Ring calls advanced pre-roll or pre-recording, so you will get the whole motion event. All Ring wired or plug-in cameras and doorbells have this feature. Now, an exception to this is the Spotlight Cam Pro, when in battery mode, also has the 4-second pre-roll, like on Ring Doorbell 4. But this is low resolution and no sound, and definitely not as good as the real pre-recording. Now that you know the differences between the power options, let's check the hardware kit. Inside the box, you will get the setup guide, an adapter plate used for flushed or in-wall boxes, and we have the wired mount. Ring is innovating again and designing a mount that can fit a power adapter. Nice. This is where we are going to slide in the spotlight cam. And we have a USB-C plug. On the back, we have the wires that we need to connect white or neutral, green or ground, black or hot wire. We can remove this back cover here and you will see the USB-C plug. What else is inside the box? We have some machine screws. We have screws and rubber covers. We have an S-hook and wire nuts. Time to install this, but first for safety, turn off switch and power to the junction box that you are going to work on. I'll show you two types of install. First, a wall install in a out of wall junction box. And you don't need an adapter plate on this one. You can hang the wired mount using the S hook if you want and attach the wires, which I'll use Wago connectors to make it easy. White to white or neutral, black to black or hot wire, and green to ground. And I have a plastic box, so I'll use the regular screws and screw in the wired mount to the junction box using the four included screws. And you see the screw right here? We have to remove this. This is for the stick-up cam, but I'll tell you more about this later in the video, so keep on watching. And we're going to put back the front plate. Now open the battery compartment of your Spotlight Cam Pro in this case. Then I'll pull down to remove this mount plate and slide in the spotlight cam to the wired mount. And on the back, plug in the USB-C plug and replace the back plate and the battery cover and position it in place. 
Now for a flushed or in-wall junction box and for sealing or under the eaves install, screw in the adapter plate first. Then wire in the wired mount, black to black, white to white, and green to bare copper wire. Tuck the wires in and screw in the wired mount to the adapter plate using the four included machine screws. Cover the screws with the rubber plugs. And same thing, remove the screw and slide in the spotlight cam. Plug it in. Put back the back cover and your Spotlight Cam Plus or the Pro is installed. Clean install. Now because of that screw, I have to try to see if this will work with Ring Stick Up Cam. And because it uses a barrel plug for power instead of USB-C, I tried to use the USB-C to barrel plug adapter for their solar panels. I then screwed in the Stick Up Cam on the quarter 20 screw hole on the back and I was able to plug in the barrel plug. And because of the added bulk on the cables, part of the adapter plug has to be outside when I put on the back cover, which looked okay. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. It seems like the adapter plug only works with solar panel current or wattage. Anyways, this screw is designed for the stick-up cam though, so Ring might be releasing a new version that has a USB-C power port. Okay, now for the best setup, which you already saw, wired in, getting the benefits of wired features that I said earlier, and also clean looking install, no visible wires or cables. But what if the power went out or someone turned off the power? Well, if you put in a battery pack, then when power is out, the spotlight cam will automatically switch to battery power. There's a caveat though, because ring cameras only record to the cloud, so your router or your Wi-Fi also needs to have a backup power. If you have a Ring Alarm Pro, then aside from power, you also have backup internet. So this Spotlight Cam Pro or the Plus that is wired in but have a battery backup will continue to record to the cloud and notify you even when power and internet are out. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.